Hello everybody. Um today I'm going to show you how to make um how to make very professional sounding National Weather Service for your EAS mocks. Um I decided to make this because uh, MSU fan 725 um had this question and I thought it was actually a good question because that's something I had issues with. Um that's something I had issues with when I started um making EAS mocks. I've only made a couple but I think I got it to sound pretty good, so I'm going to tell you what you need to do. This is the first TTS software I've ever downloaded, and it's actually really good. This is Bal Balabolka, I guess that's how you pronounce it, this is the website, and um, I just downloaded it, and it's actually a good, like, actually a good website. So see, here's the, I typed in my message here, and the thing I like about it is not only is it free, but you can actually save it and export it as you can save it as an ex as a text file and I'm pretty sure you can save it as an yeah you can save it as an audio file as a whole bunch of different formats I love that feature so um anyways I put everything in here I put the text that I wanted to say so I'll play this it this is a test of the emergency alert system there is no emergency at this time all right now this is the scansoft tom voice that can that um you use with EAS encoder I feel, um, uh, crap. Alright, so I feel that the, the professional, uh, the professionalism, I guess you could say, the, to make it sound more professional, or more like the real thing, you want to spend more of your time in the audio processing, and, you know, the effects of it than the actual message. I mean, you want to make sure that it pronounces everything correctly, so you might have to spell it weirdly in the text file, so that way it, the text-to-speech actually uh, spells it correctly. So I'm going to save it as a uh, audio file, and I'm just going to save it as a wave. Alright. I think that's saved. I don't know. Alright, now I'm going to import... Alright, import audio. And it should be on my desktop here. I think that's where I saved it to. I'm hoping that's where I saved it to. It doesn't look like I did. Um, maybe I saved it in the documents. Yeah, okay. Open it up here. Now we have it. This is a test. Oh, uh... I'll tell it to go through my this is a audio interface. All right, here we are. This is a test of the emergency alert system. There is no emergency at this time. All right, now I'm using uh, Audacity. There's also a software called Reaper. It's a digital audio workstation. It's really meant for music. You could probably do the same thing in here, but I feel like Audacity is better for stuff that's not music. So now we have our message. This is... And now we can start to the go to the effects. So if we find an actual like video here, um, and I'm just gonna go. Uh, this is my old EAS channel. Um, did this have audio? I don't think this had audio. No, it didn't. Okay. Um. So you can kind of see how the how it's a little bit different there. All right, so you can hear that, and I don't believe that's the Tom voice, but you can hear from the real thing. If it sounds like a line in, like this usually is, or like uh, you know a pull straight from like a video feed like this usually the sound that comes from a Nash from a EAS or from a from the National Weather Service in general is very bassy the radio is very bassy now if you're listening to a scanner it'll sound really tinny sometimes that is because of the really small speaker in it but if you were to put headphones on like good high quality headphones and listen to like a line input of of a of a weather radio, you will definitely tell how it's a lot bassier. 
So um, we'll go ahead and go to effects, and we. Um, I usually go ahead and. One oh yeah, one of the things I do is go ahead and generate noise. And uh, I don't. Okay, so I generate noise, and I want to turn this way low. It needs to be extremely quiet. This is a test of the emergency alert. All right, maybe a little bit less. This is a test of the emergency alerts. All right, so now that'll get really, that'll get really um, deaf and down whenever we um, go ahead and apply equalization. There's already an AM radio. Um, uh, uh, the preset, and, whoops, I messed that up. You want to select both the tracks when you do this. So, let me just select both of them. It, I, if I can remember how you do that. Let me just control it. Alright, there we go. Effect, equalization. Alright, there we go. This is a test of the and as you can see, it sounds a lot better. Now, one thing you might want to do... This is a test of the emergency alert system. Is you might want to make your make the gain use the gain adjust knob here to make sure that the the text to speech is a lot um, quieter. You want it to sound like you're actually listening to a radio, so they're pretty quiet. But you don't want it to be so quiet where you can't hear it. So that sounds good. Now, if I could apply one more equalization, oh. Uh, effect equalization. And now I'd apply a bass boost. There we go. This is a test of. All right, that's a little bit better. This is a test of the emergency alert system. There is no emergency at this time. I think it sounded better without the bass boost. Actually, this one probably doesn't need it. This is a. Yeah. All right, that sounds good. Um. Maybe. Give it. Let me try giving it compressor. I've never messed with this, but. This is a test of the emergency alert system. Just playing with the settings here. This is a test of the emergency. All right, I like that. That sounds good. This is a test of the emergency alert system. There is no. All right, and another thing I would do is on this last track. Um. Hmm. Um, don't want it to give a much, but if you notice in a real thing, the background noise, because of, you know, the radiation and, and you know, the world and our atmosphere and stuff, the waves are always, you'll always hear a weird background, like, fluctuating, getting louder and quieter. The It's like, it sounds like waves, almost. Like, actual, like, almost sounds like, like, waves on the ocean. So, if, um... You can try to, you can try to recreate that. I don't really know how you would do that. Maybe, maybe you would uh, give it a wah wah. I don't know. Mm, frequency. Uh, let me just, let me just. Yeah, no, no, no. It sounds good as it is, but if you could find a way to recreate that, I, that's something that would definitely make it sound a lot more professional. So that's kind of um. Oops, I turned down my volume. This is a test of. That's kind of a good little sample of it, and then you want to cut off the end here, and you know, just maybe. I wouldn't trim that down. Usually, when I'm doing this, and I have the end of, and I have the you know the beginning of. The transmission and the end of transmission, or when I have the header, the tension tone, the transition, I put all that into one. I don't feel like doing that. But and then you have now when you're doing that, I, I would just extend this out. I would go ahead and add all of your um your I'd add your header, your tension tone, your message, your uh end of transmission tone. You'd have all those. Make sure they're all sounding good, like normal sounding good. Then you can start to make it sound like a radio afterwards by generating this tone and making sure it covers the whole thing and yeah, and then and then applying it all. So that's that. I'll go ahead and export it as a WAV file. Um, so yeah, 
and as you can see, it gets converted down the mon to mono. Alrighty, um, that's a little simple tutorial, and I'll talk to you later.